Everyone has a Gmail, but as a small business owner, do you actually know how to get the most out of it? I know the young kids use Gmail, but so do the entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, and even large companies. In this video, I'm going to tell you the top five ways to use Gmail like a boss. Since you're the boss of your own company, you really should know all of these quick tips to make your work more efficient and profitable. And if you stick around to the end, I, there's actually an extra bonus tip too. Hello, I'm Amy Novick, a professional organizer, Google certified trainer, and productivity specialist. I empower business owners with Google solutions. I increase their efficiency and save them money by using the tools they already pay for within Google Workspace. Every week I hear, I didn't know Google could do that. This foundational system allows you to start and grow your business so you can make time and create space for what you value most. Comment below with your questions about Google Workspace and what you love about it already. Hit that subscribe button to get notified about more Google tips in the future and help us get to our first 1000 subscribers. Before we get started, I want to make sure you get some time saving tips immediately. So be sure to click the link below to get time saving hacks for small business owners. One of the first things that most people don't know is that you can actually attach a Google Drive file directly to your email. There is a button, a very special button for that. When you are in your Gmail and you go to compose an email, uh, way down at the bottom of the screen, there's a lot of very important buttons actually. And this one, the triangle that looks like Google Drive, means that you can then insert a file from your Google Drive and you can just pull. You can search just like normal. And I can go ahead and attach a file directly to my email from my drive, which is that lovely little button down there. So that is one really important thing that many people don't know exists. And you can do that in regular Gmail and in Google Workspace. But obviously, if you're working with team files and sharing things with clients, that's very helpful. If the person you're sending it to does not have permissions for that document yet, or file, the Google will let you know and will ask you if you'd like to share it anyway and with which permission levels. So it is all integrated. Another thing is that we have Gmail categories. So categories um, are not the same as labels. Labels are more like the folders that you're used to in another email program, but categories are more like person to person emails, otherwise known as primary versus promotional materials are more like all the junk mail that you get. And those, you can actually have them sectioned out in a different tab at the top. And that means that you don't have to read those in your primary inbox. Also, of course, there's the app for your phone, which with that, you get a lot of the same features as your Gmail here. It functions like that. It feels like that. If you have multiple Gmail addresses in that app, you can actually switch between accounts very easily. Um, in the upper corner, you can get to all of your accounts and just switch between them. If you upgrade to the, to the second level, there's business starter and there's business standard, then you can actually create branded emails with your logo, your colors, your links to your socials, all of that, and save that essentially as a template in your Gmail, and then use that to send things out. Behind the scenes is working is another app that's working called contacts. And when you email somebody back and forth, that email generally gets added to your contact list in uh, contacts <laughs> and in contacts, you can make contact lists. So if you have a bunch of other professional organizers that you want to email about something, or you have a client list, or you have a vendor list, or you have a team that you want to email. All of those can, lists can be created in contacts, and then you can email those people out um, using a template or not using a template. But those two things work very well together as a starter marketing platform. So again, that was actually kind of three things. Branded emails that you can save as templates, that's two different things. And um, lists in contacts means that you can email a bunch of people at one time whether it's with a template or not. So that was a lot of information um, about things you can do in Google Workspace. 
and reasons to use it, especially when you're getting started. So you don't have to buy another platform yet. <laughs> we want Google to grow with you. If this video was helpful, please like and share this video with other small business owners so they too can become more efficient and empowered with Google solutions and make time and space for what they value most.